Hey, degenerates. Well, our mining expedition has already borne dividends in the form of Charm Claw. So let's see what else can be won besides zombies. So we're gonna test out our new Charm Claw and see what, if anything, these zombies are immune to. Because this has tons of status effects. Well, it counters with Power of Touch, but that matters not to Super Gen. Well, it can't be paralyzed, and it's not apparently confused or asleep, but dang it, I like the Charm Claw. And as I mentioned last time, I'm not going to be killing anything with one hit anyway, so I might as well. Do something fun. Okay, that is a dead end. Yeah, I'm already lost. This is gonna be a trend that's gonna continue. However, bombs! Bombs give us a direction to go. Uh, sure, why not? Okay, well, I guess we're not using the Charm Claw at the moment, because there are Flazards. And there's that tree plant guy. And I want to be rid of him. And hooray for being strong against fire attack. I guess when you live in Firebird, that's kind of a necessity. Just like doing 6-6 six, six damage for no real reason. Just because you're Reuben and you're awesome like that. There's been a cat in my window. Sorry, excuse me. Red Caps, you are a greater threat because of your stupid curses. So let's see if a Charm Claw can take you out. Well, at least it wasn't... Oh no, that's just annoying. No, we're dealing with the Red Cap. I don't care what you do, Flazard. On second thought, I do care what you do. You have hurt my friend. And I disapprove. You've hurt me. And Flazards are against, strong against poison, but that's okay. Because it's dead. It can be strong whatever it wants to be. In the afterlife. Mm, sure. Oh no, I'm down to 40 potions, whatever, like... Damn you, dead end! <sighs> okay. Uh, the way it is, man. Dead end trickery. Man. Not that it's random encounters, but with the encounter right in here, I'm gonna be leveling again in no time. This is good. Missing, not so much. Why do you guys always have to miss on the same turn? Why? Like, are you too busy laughing so hard at the other person's failure that you fail to? Because if you do, well, don't do that this time, because we have a strike first, and I don't want to waste it. Alright. That's a very congenial way to deal with red caps. Not let them attack and curse you. Now, what was in here that's worth coming after? Because I'm not saying anything yet. And this is not so... Oh, you're kidding me. Did I fight through here just for another brown chest? Because I'm not going to be pleased if this was the case. Yay! Poison and Paralyzed. Thank you, Charm Claw. I like the Charm Claw a lot. Are you joking? Well, at least it's two of these random passages that I never have to explore again. Thank you. Oh, come, don't miss. Why, why would you do that? Seriously. You two, you, you get no bis, no, let's stop bringing jokes between LPs. That just confuses everyone. Right. So Charm Claw is useless against zombies. I guess you have to have a working circulation system in order to be paralyzed or anything like that. 
Hooray! Explosives that I didn't really use any of. One could have refilled much easier elsewhere. Okay, well... Actually, this place so far is not as bad as the ice, ca uh, ice pyramid. Sure, it's confusing and there's way too many directions to go, but... Most of them are leading to dead ends, like, immediately. Oh, we're gonna fight this guy, just cause he's here. All three of these guys, whatever. I know, you and your paratouch that mean nothing to me. And would you stop spitting on me? Because no one taught you that spitting is rude. I don't care if you're undead, you still need to go by common courtesy. Alright, so I'm ridiculous, but we knew this. And that's one way. Oh, look! We're back at the beginning. So we're gonna circle around again. And I do mean circle, because that's all there was in that direction. Wait a minute, wasn't there a choice up this way? You know what I just said about not being as confusing? Scratch that. Ah, no. That conveyor belt is going the wrong way. And we cannot go up elevators. Only down. I'm sorry, but having such nice prizes in the Charm Claw makes me want to make sure that I get all the prizes. Even the crappy ones. Well, we're embarking on a new direction now, so that should be acceptable to all and sundry, I hope. Shut up with your paratouch, nobody cares. Seriously. Is that all you do? How do you even have saliva left? You're undead. You should have a distinct lack of saliva. At least I would think. Oh great. More immediate choices. Oh, let's head down. But why? Why would you do that? Why would you do that game? Have a choice that leads to absolutely nothing. That is just silly. Also, you can't change weapons while you're in motions, which is a motion, which I also think is silly. No missing. Okay. Good. I approve of you not doing anything, even though you weren't the one that was hurt. And I have no idea why you didn't do anything. Oh, I'm kind of curious. Excellent! Within the next couple of battles, we should level again! If I can say one good thing about this place, which I guess I can, it's that the experience is extremely good. It looks like a choice, but it's not. And this actually kind of pleases me. Running into zombies every five steps, not so much. I need a shotgun. I mean, not that it's not awesome to take on zombies with battle axes, but it just doesn't seem quite as effective. Stop spitting on Reuben, you silly thing. That wasn't an invitation to spit on me, either. Come on, have some class. Some undead class. Hey, now, you see this elevator? Looks kind of familiar down there, doesn't it? Yeah, we're not going that way. However, we are going this way. This place is not as bad as I remember, really. Probably was more confused just because of the multitude of passages, and not realizing they all led to the same area. I actually haven't played this in quite some time. I was probably quite a bit younger last time I played. 
and this should be... Nope, not yet. Next enemy I fight will be my level up. And you, Mr. Golden Guy? You're not gonna be it. Ooh, we do have choices now. I'm definitely not fighting Golden Guy. Golden Guy is the way forward, I'm confident in this. And you know how I am about ways forward. I try to go every way that's not forward first. So we battle red bones. Yay! Paralysis and poison work. I like this. I don't like missing. Stop that, Reuben. You're disappointing me greatly. Wow. Oh no. No! Come on, Super Gen, please wake up. Well, at least you can hit when you're confused. Ruben, please don't. Well, alright. That wasn't terribly bad. More annoying than anything, but hey, we have a level up out of it. And we're going to continue. No, we're not going to stop here. Because I have a spe specific thing that, or specific area I want to cover before I close this video. Which is to wit, everywhere that's Wait, no, I don't want to do that. Maybe I do. You see, I'm kind of worried about my health totals. Eh, I don't know. I kind of want to go back to town, but on the other hand, it doesn't seem like such a good idea. However, this is loot me again. So I guess it would be kind of a salubrious time to go back to town. But there's something I want to show off in town. Eh, uh, no. No town visits yet. We are alright for the moment. But next time, we're going to be over by the uh, Golden Cave, and we're totally going to- er, Golden Cave? The Golden Guy guarding the cave, and we're going to be totally ignoring him a little longer. Until then, degenerates, see ya.